Hello, my name is Deepak Tamang from Nepal. Today I'm going to share in this video some experience of mine with the fasting and prayer. I do believe fasting and prayer is biblical. From the Old Testament to New Testament, it has been working and it has been coming continuously up to us. Even Jesus took fast before he started his ministry. Moses took long fasting while he was receiving Ten Commandments from the Lord. And there are several other people, prophets, kings, and the leaders in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. They took fasting. And fasting and prayer is allowing God to work into our life. I want to share one event in my life. I and my wife work in a school from 2005 to 2016. But in the end of the 2016, I got a call from the Lord. He said to me, you have to leave your job and go to the full-time ministry. You should preach the gospel. This is not your time to get rest. You should go from here and you should preach the gospel. This was not easy job for me to leave my job because my job is my salary. I'm living in a fancy house. I have a nice motorcycle and I don't have to worry about anything. But I just keep working. You know, my wife did not believe what I said to her. But we started taking fast and prayer to get confirmed of this calling from the Lord. Then we started getting prayer and fasting. Every week we pray with the fasting. We take fasting for one day. We, day. we took fasting for three days and we also took fasting for five days. Normally, what I, why I go to the fasting and prayer is to be humble myself before the Lord God for the protection of my family, to know the will of God. I want to hear from the Lord. I want to make sure and I want to make confirm that this is the calling from the Lord. As my wife and I go and fasting and prayer for six months. God frequently keep talking into my heart, talking into us to with my wife and I. You should resign your job and you have to, you know, start the ministry of preaching the gospel. While I was planning, you know, to resign my job in my old age, I was thinking that this is my time to have a rest because I have everything in my life. I have money and well family. But no, God has another plan. So, in the month of July, we started our ministry of faith. You know, I, my wife and I resigned. 
we we rented a small house with a small two rooms with a small kitchen you know i had to depend on the lord for my house rent i had to depend on my daily food my school kids school fee you know even the resources for to go everywhere and preach the gospel before it was not like that i was depending on my work on my on my strength but when i started ministry of faith i have i have started trusting in the lord even for my daily food even a small small thing in my life but you know god allow me to go into more than 35 new districts of my nepal my country and i preached more than 2000 people you know 20 more than 20 now it's increasing number cell groups small small church group started i have baptized 300 more than 300 people with my own hand there are other several people who get saved you know within these 3 years god allowed me to work in this way though this nation is closed for the gospel you know the restriction for the gospel you cannot preach any gospel here you cannot make any videos uh, with the gospel here you cannot share any tracks you cannot share bible here but you know i have never thought that i would work in this way i have never thought that i would walk in this way so this is there are several other events you know in my life the lord has spoke to me through fasting and prayer and breakthrough has happened in my life and still it is happening i have never seen such a miracles in my life that i have seen for the last 3 years i spent more and more time in fasting and prayer if you want lord god to work in your life in your family in your ministry in your business or whatever you do you should separate your time for god you should decide to take fast you should allow god to make surgery your spiritual life your spiritual growth I remember a Bible verse that is Ezra chapter 8 verse 21 he was trying to come back to his country to Jerusalem you know before he start his journey he he took prayer and fast to humble himself he said that for the protection of his goods and everything he has Jesus is the best example in the New Testament of the fasting and prayer. He he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights before he started his ministry. So if you want to see God working into your life, fasting and prayer is very very important. Allow God to work in your life. If you want to see miracles, If you want to see breakthrough if you want to see the encounter with the Jesus with the Holy Spirit you should separate your time with the fasting and prayer this is my experience i can share you a lot but this must for today thank you god bless you
u met een lied. Praise the Lord, praise the Heer. Oh 